welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Sexton One. It's a Tier 3 British Premium SPG and it's located on the south spawn of Glacier under the command of Talon 1958. Now it's very rare to see these because there's only two Premium SPGs in the game nowadays if you're on PC. Uh, the Sexton One, which isn't on sale anymore, and the 105 LFH 18B2, the Fifi La Piu Piu, or Lefi as tank drivers know them. But this Sexton one is a rather special little arty because it actually has crew members, one of whom is my name. Yes, there's one of me in there. <laughs> anyway, he's found his firing position and he's getting ready to go to work. 25 pounder gun, which is the standard uh, ammunition used by the British Army. Um, it was actually, most of them were built in Montreal, in Canada. Uh, and that was safely away from the uh, German bombing raids. It's based on the chassis of the M4. Round out. Ooh, it's going to be full behind. Oh my god, he just got a blind kill! He killed an M2 medium that was driving behind that Type 95. I thought that that was a wasted shot, but it wasn't wasted. He killed something he couldn't see. <laughs> oh, crumbs. What an opening shot. Well, he's got the first kill for his side. What an amazing shot as well. The shell must have landed right in the cockpit and wiped that tank out completely. Well, unfortunately, there's two enemy tanks up on, up on the aircraft carrier at the moment, and so they're going to be very dangerous for our tanks. We've got a Type 95 moving up around the aircraft carrier at the moment. And that Panzer 1C is proving to be a bit of a nuisance. Fire an HE round at it, and it hits the rock. Now, the um, Sexton 1 can actually fire um, standard AP ammunition. It's one of the few arties that does carry AP and it's the same ammunition that it used to carry right at the start of the game and he's just destroyed another M2 medium. He must must like killing those ones. <laughs> they stand still long enough, he will wipe them out. T46 has just got a fire and no fire extinguisher and he's just blown up. And that T-46 was killed by the Type 95. He set fire to him. Okay, we can't hit the Type 90 once around the corner. There is an enemy there, a P-2640. If the enemy comes around the corner, we might be able to hit them. The Type 95 is backing away. That might tempt them to come around the corner. I think it, they will. And then they'll meet a 25-pounder shell coming the other way. And he does. He gets a shot close to them. If only that had hit, that would have been uh, quite a d deadly shot. Type 95's got very light armor. Tier 4 Japanese heavy. And the Type 91 next to it is the Tier 3 Japanese heavy. Both very lightly armored. Round out. He pulls back. Oh, it landed right next door. And the M M15 took a hit from the uh, R-Type 95. We're loaded. Round out. Direct hit. 74 hit points. The Type 91's moved around. He's taking fire. But we've lost our own Type 95. We fire at the Type 95 and the enemy team and it lands in front of him. There's very little splash from the 25 pounder. Although that didn't actually happen in reality. He's doing a leading shot now. Round out and lands behind. He needs to lead just a little bit more. Unfortunately, we've got nobody to spot those tanks now. So this is a bit of a dangerous position to be in. And I think that Talon's going to relocate somewhere else. So somebody can protect him. Unfortunately, a Panzer 1C has made it into the enemy cap area. He's only a short distance away. So we need to motor quickly, otherwise the enemy is going to spot us. Oh, enemy RT seen us, so they're firing at us. Uh, this close range, it looks like Talon's probably going to end up doing some shotguns. 
He's trying to get out of the way of that Panzer 1C. We know he's behind him. Okay, this is a different firing position to use. He's got the trees for comfort. Oh, there's the Panzer 1C. He's coming up. He's getting close. Oh, he's just taken out Armada 2. He'll head this way for sure. So we're going for a shotgun. Lining up the shot. Oh, look at that beautiful shotgun. Takes out the Panzer 1C just like that. No problem whatsoever. Now, we've got a Type 91 a short distance away. And we're going to aim at him. Round out. Lands just behind. Need to aim just ahead of the target. Let the target walk into the shell. And he's loaded. But we can't see the target anymore. That means he's too close now. He's got very, very close. He's still moving, I reckon. There's nobody to spot him because he moved behind the, that cover, moved behind that uh, snowdrift. The next time we spot him, yep, there he is. There's the tree going down, so he's just around that corner. And that ridge line is presenting a bit of a problem. There's the Type 91. Oh, we missed on that shot. We're reloading quickly. Getting ready for another shot. It looks like he's going to come round. And we're going to go and meet him. And shotgun him directly. Oh, right in the face. Right in the face. Perfect there. Oh, taking around from the M2 medium. And another. And the Type 95 is coming after us. We've been... The driver's been killed, we've been tracked, and it's all over. And the last of our team has been killed, so I'm afraid it is a defeat. But there was just too much for him to do. In fact, he did pick up some ram damage on that Type 95, would you believe it? And here's the end of battle results. It was a defeat, I'm afraid, but it was a third-class tanker in the Sexton 1. Um, he also got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills and a win eight for the Battle of 3377. So it's not a bad result from Talon's perspective, but unfortunately the rest of his team let him down on that. Let's have a look at team score. Well, you can see why, because, yep, he, he is the only one with the Type 95 of his team who actually managed to get uh, decent figures. Uh, the highest scorer was the P2640 on the enemy team with 1,016 hit points. Uh, the highest scorer on his team was the Type 95 with 757, and then Talon with 608. When it came to kills, it was definitely Talon with four kills. The highest scorer on the enemy team, P2640, also with four and when it came to base XP, uh, it was actually the P2640 who managed to get the highest amount with 711. Then the Panzer 1C with 560 and their Type 95 with 407. Talon managed to get 300 base experience points. Uh, but there again, he was on the losing team, but he did get the highest score on his own team. If you look at the detail report, he fired 12 rounds. He got 5 direct hits, 5 penetration, 1 splash. Damage of 608 hit points, of which 495 were at more than 300 meters. He received 5 hits from the enemy. 3 of them were penetrations. 2 were non-penetrations. And block damage of 40 hit points. He damaged 5 of the enemy, killed 4 of them, and did damage assistance of 15 hit points. On a premium count, he earned 20,477 credits, got 1,024 for mission completion, and that brought up a total of 21,501. And after repair, ammunition, resupply, he still took home 20,045 credits in total. He received 450 XP, 23 for mission completion, 270 because this is one of two premium SPGs in the game. And that brought up a total of 745, 43 experience points to take away. So um, sadly it was a defeat, but uh, we did have some good news today that uh, Talon 1958 is free of cancer for a whole year. And we're all happy about that. So congratulations Talon, good news. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.